Now I would like to call upon Sanjay Kaul, President Asia Pacific and Japan, service provider business Cisco Systems for his keynote session on 5G and future of internet. Sanjay is a transformational leader and certified independent director with about 28 years of experience in ICT industry in international environment work in Europe, APJC and Africa. During his professional career, Sanjay has worked in all key dimensions of ICT value chain, ranging from being management consultant, service provider, ICT technology and E2E solutions provider. A voracious and lifelong learner with a glass is half full mindset. Every situation is a great opportunity for him. So over to you, Sanjay. Hello, friends. Hope all of you are feeling well, you are safe and healthy. Uh, uh, it's my pleasure to be here speaking with you. I'd like to thank Western Data and Cyber Media for giving me this opportunity. Uh, so uh, wh wh why don't I begin with a statement uh, saying the world has changed forever. And uh, uh, you've not heard that first time, but it's truly, you know, when we look at our industry and the way uh, the digitization has got a kicker and the digitization is really moving at a pace we could have not imagined a few years ago. Uh, I mean, internet traffic is continuing to multi multifold. We've seen, of course, mobile networks were already growing data, but we've seen a lot of shift to fixed traffics. We have seen uh, enormous amount of growth in Wi-Fi traffic um, around the world. 80% uh, of the organization on the earth have decided to move to either a full work from home or a hybrid kind of environment. We've seen 1.2 billion children and students, uh, uh, you know, um, going to their schools virtually and digitally attending learning uh, in, a, in a digital way. Uh, we've seen governments legislating virtually using the digital tools. Uh, bottom line, every industry and every business has pivoted to uh, a virtual mode. You know, applications which were a really nice extension of our business have now become the business. And I think these, these are the forces that truly are uh, forcing uh, us to invent or create what we call future of internet. Uh, in my personal opinion, the internet of future begins with technologies like 5G, Wi-Fi 6, AI, ML, uh, uh, edge compute, and so on and so forth. Uh, but as we enter this era of uh, a super broadband, an era of ultra latency, uh, an era of um, services and digital plays uh, that will make every industry efficient, that will fast track um, their journey uh, to a digital one. Uh, we will see that uh, the new normals will get formed. We will see new actors emerging uh, in our industry. Uh, we will see new participants and the new ecosystems getting built out. Uh, and I think all of that creates a massive amount of opportunity for the entire industry, right? Uh, having said that, it is still, um, it's still unfortunate that despite of all these advancements, uh, we still see 2.5 billion people on this earth do not have access to a decent broadband uh, or a decent internet connection. Um, so what are we doing about it as Cisco? I think uh, we are truly pushing the boundaries of uh, digital innovation. And I think I can divide this into four dimensions. Uh, the first is, is software, uh, where, uh, you know, in our industry, we used to have uh, prolific um, 
software, you know, if you're in a core, there's a piece of software lying in the core, if you had an aggregation, or if you're at an access. So, so we're creating a uniformity across the network that you will have one software. Uh, in our case, um, we call it Cisco XR that's running across the network. The second uh, innovation that we are bringing to the industry is, uh, is uh, Cisco Silicon One, which is truly enabling uh, unified silicon architecture. Uh, where um, the first routing Siltok Silicon uh, uh, did break that uh, 10 terabit bar barrier uh, in terms of throughput. Uh, we are innovating um, the optical world. I think you heard we've been acquiring uh, many assets in the industry and we're trying to solve uh, that uh, you know the ip and optical kind of get converged uh, we are really rolling out networks around the world uh, which are giving birth to what we call software defined routed optical networks uh, and and last uh, is you know, embedding all these pieces of technologies uh, into the systems that are uh, that are end-to-end uh, -end connected, that that enable security in every piece of your architecture. Um, and I think all of this put together really helps service providers uh, to flatten their networks, uh, make these networks open in first place but intelligent, intuitive in the second, and as a result, uh, not only give them ability uh, to create uh, modern digital architectures, but give them the ability so their networks are able to produce digital plays. Because these are the these are the offerings, these are the digital, these are the services that you're going to take to every enterprise vertical, and as a result help them digitize, help them benefit from, from digitization, and as a result, make them enormously efficient. And, and that's where the true value creation will happen. You know, you know we're seeing uh, with 5G now being rolled out in, uh, in a few countries in Asia Pacific. I mean, Korea was the first, Japan second, Australia third, and so on. And I think we have seen cases where uh, you know, by bringing in these uh, technology advancements, uh, uh, truly converging your SP network, extending a slice all the way to an enterprise, you are creating an enormous value for, for that enterprise. Uh, I mean, one of the use cases, uh, uh, you know, were um, uh, in Korea, where an automobile industry leveraged 5G technology and brought in um, the, the complete digitization into their factory. And as a result, uh, there was a productivity gains up to 32%. Uh, and, and that is enormous value creation. And I think, and I think that's the value that will fuel uh, uh, the business cases to, to justify the investments in 5G. So 5G, is not just about you know getting a, another radio you know i mean you've been used to getting uh, you know 3g 4g it's not another radio with the faster speeds and the high density but it's really an opportunity for you uh, to rethink your network uh, rethink the economics of your network and then uh, enable your network uh, uh, with the ability to create uh, uh, the digital value players uh, for for every enterprise vertical, whether that's uh, uh, that's uh, logistics, whether that is uh, uh, automobile industry, whether that's manufacturing. Uh, we've seen how uh, your fast networks can uh, create immersive learning experience. Uh, uh, health sector has already shown a tremendous progress in terms of adopting digitization and a lot more can be can be done with the with the technologies and and, and the future of internet uh, so so i think this is 
truly, uh, you know, when we when we say future of internet is here, uh, uh, this is truly how how it gets built. Uh, so, uh, so if I sum that up, then um, so it's four things. Uh, the first uh, software defined converged uh, network we call it SD routed op uh, optical networks architecture. Um, the second one is, of course, looking at your data center infrastructure, you know, uh, and transforming that uh, to become a distributed data center. So you have an ability to create um, uh, create a capability at the edge of the network. Uh, I think there are many buzzwords in the industry. Some call it mobile edge compute. Some call it call it multi-service edge compute. But in in reality, I think you are creating an enablement in your network so you can capture the data when it gets generated. Uh, and I think a lot of uh, new issue, innovations have to happen at, at, at the edge because that's where truly SP networks will converge with, uh, uh, with uh, enterprise networks, leveraging industry, uh, IoT applications and services to uh, really create new forms of uh, uh, monetization, new forms of efficiency, and hence value creation. Um, I mean, in India, we're predicting uh, that the digitization will contribute to 23% of GDP. Uh, of course, if we together as an industry execute on it by 2025, and uh, that that's that is truly uh, enormous uh, value for country, for 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 um, industry, for telcos. Of course, will be a big beneficiary of that, but also the ecosystem that will get generated. Uh, so, so I think this is a little bit my thoughts on this. You know, Cisco's purpose as a company is to power an inclusive future. And I think we'll continue to bring advancements in the technology. Uh, we are forcing ourselves to think a little bit ahead of the game so we can bring in the technologies that are needed uh, to uh, really fuel this, uh, the 5G and the 5G monetization and truly uh, bring in future of internet to this industry. So thank you very much. It was an honor to be with you. And I, I am I'm very certain you will enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sanjay, for such invigorating insights.